I'm Nick Snow, watching government for Oil and Gas Journal in Washington, D.C. Sally Jewell's nomination on February 6th to succeed Ken Salazar as U.S. Interior Secretary was indisputably a surprise. Conventional predictions had U.S. President Barack Obama turning to a Western governor or a senator to lead the department during his second term. The chief executive of one of the nation's leading outdoor equipment retailers wasn't even mentioned. The choice obviously pleased environmental groups because Jewell has been an active public land conservationist. Oil and gas associations, which might have been very concerned, weren't, because she also began her professional career as an engineer at Mobile Oil Corporation. One question now is whether she will be able to balance competing interests at the Department of the Interior as aggressively as Salazar says he has. Jewel's solid business experience, which includes commercial banking, could work in her favor as she runs the Department of the Interior, particularly if Deputy Secretary David J. Hayes is there to help her. It's no guarantee that she'll be politically effective, however. Salazar took Interior's helm in early 2009, having completed four years as a U.S. Senator from Colorado and a term as the state's Attorney General. His legal background led him to try and reduce court challenges to agency decisions by increasing earlier public involvement as regulations were being developed. Robert V. Abbey, who was U.S. Bureau of Land Management Director for much of Salazar's interior tenure, told OGJ that no one expected this to eliminate lawsuits protesting policies. The idea was to build stronger legal foundations so judges would be likelier to rule for the federal government, he explained. Jewell's biggest challenge probably will be to develop the kind of political expertise needed to represent Interior's interests and requirements at the White House. Early indications are she would be a good team player. She also would need to be an effective advocate within Obama's cabinet. Congressional energy leaders' reactions to her nomination were mixed. U.S. Senate Energy and Natural Resources Committee Chairman Ronald L. Wyden, a Democrat from Oregon, called it an inspired choice. Her experience leading a nearly $2 billion outdoor recreation company, combined with her years of work in the financial sector, puts her in a position to bring a new vision to Interior, he said on February 6th. Senator Lisa Murkowski, a Republican from Alaska, who also is the committee's ranking minority member, was more reserved. So many of the decisions made by the Interior Secretary have a profound impact on Alaska and other Western states, she said. The livelihoods of Americans living and working in the West rely on maintaining a real balance between conservation and economic opportunity. Others said they looked forward to learning more about Jewel's qualifications at her confirmation hearing. That's watching government for this week. In Washington, I'm Nick Snow for Oil and Gas Journal.